Hello, handsome. Hello. Here, Tom. He's always so fluffy. Like, look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Huh, bud? Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Wednesday and I have been working, doing the work thing, but I thought it was time to start this vlog. I have a few things to show you guys. Of course, some spoilers, and we'll see what we get up to for the rest of this week. So I may be a bit eccentric, but I've already started just compiling things for Go Wild. I still have over a month, but you, you just you just gotta put it into a suitcase. You gotta contain the excitement in a suitcase. But I wanted to show you the enamel pin that I picked up. There are a ton of Go Wild pins, but I didn't wanna go crazy wild with my Go Wild. So I just got this poker chip one. I will link where I got it below. But then I have a bunch of other pins that I want to wear on my lanyard, just in this little baggie so that once I get my lanyard, I can add them to it. Then I have some pajamas. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear these or a different set. I know that the plan jamma or whatever it is is like a big deal so i'm really nervous about that so i have these in here and then a little notebook one of the soft cover erin condren's to write notes and stuff cell phone cord and that's literally it but I'm, I'm a little too excited i think so let's dive into the box that's coming out in april you guys know about this you've seen some spoilers you've already seen this i don't know if i've showed you but there's gonna be die cuts but I wanted to show you this today. So this is a blossom kit and it says bloom where you're planted on it and has like instructions on how to plant and like expand the little peat thing in there and their seeds and it will grow poppy flowers. I'm so excited. I love that I was able to do poppies for the brand. I've been growing mine for a couple of weeks now. It comes with everything you need. So like it'll have all the soil and everything. So this is gonna be in the coffee shop box because when you go to a coffee shop, you see plants and flowers at the tables. So I thought this would be a cute little project. And it has like a plastic liner so you can remove the plant and repot it somewhere else. And then you have this cute little box that you can put pens or basically anything in it. And I thought this would be a really cool like kids activity as well for spring. We are still waiting on a few more things to come in. As you can see, there's a little surprise down there that I'll show you guys in the next weekly vlog. I think I've showed you this little kit as well, but I'm getting really excited. It's getting closer. If you happen to miss my video on Wednesday, I did a video about how to get the most out of your de-stash tables at events. So I made this spread using just stickers I found at the PlannerCon de-stash table. So if you haven't checked out that video, go and check it out so you can see how to get the most out of a de-stash table. So I have been working in the guest room lately and this guy is losing his mind over all of the birds that are coming back. I think spring is finally on its way and this one is keeping guard. Oh my god. Usually I pull up the blinds for him so he doesn't like headbutt them. Buggy, get out of the curtains. So I feel like I've been the world's worst vlogger, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and redeem myself. And I wanted to show you progress in my horizontal Erin Condren hardbound. So this is what I've been using for to-do list for about a month now. And I have really been enjoying it. I love the limited amount of space. I've been doing like different colors with my mild liners, cause that's what they're called. They're not called mid liners, like a doofus. And I just, I like it. I like the simplicity. I like how small it is. I know in my planner update, I was kind of like, what do I do with my life? But I have been enjoying it. But I still don't know what to do with my life. So there's that. Do you guys just love the newest addition to my living room? So I have a composter. Alex and I put it together and it's amazing. And I'm so excited. Of course, it's gonna go outside obviously, but we have been collecting leftover scraps for a while. And then of course you can put leaves and everything. I will probably 
do a blog post about composting. I don't think it's like a video thing that you guys would be interested in, but I'm like the worst at opening this thing. Let me just, it's a little drum with a aeration tube, a buggy, and it's gonna make me some soil and compost for my plants. I feel like the next level of plant lady obsessed is going to be achieved. So I'm actually not sure if I've mentioned this before and I'm really sorry if I haven't because the tickets are already sold out, but I am hosting a meetup in Grand Rapids in May and I have been collecting swag and stuff for it and the first of the packages has arrived today. So if you are attending the event, it's a super small event, like 30, 35 people, nothing huge. If it goes really well, I might do more in the future, but I'm really sorry if you missed out on it. I just kind of did it a spur of the moment, posted it in our Facebook group, and the tickets sold out pretty quickly. But I wanted to show you guys the really exciting swag that arrived yesterday. So it's in our coat closet because I don't want to carry it all the way downstairs just to carry it out in a month or so. But Erin Condren was kind enough to send notebooks and markers to every single person attending the meetup and there are just so many cute patterns in here. It's gonna be amazing. So thank you to the Erin Condren team and I hope you guys who are attending are getting excited. All right guys, thank you so much for watching another weekly vlog. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss videos from me every single week. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.